We will be introducing some basic concepts and foundational ideas while engaging in a number of assignments that hopefully help you internalize and think about these concepts and put into practice some of the strategies and techniques presented. In many ways, this course is a quick introduction for anyone interested in potentially exploring further a career in museum education or deepening their interest in the ways that learning happens in museums. As well, the course can be useful for artists and designers, thinker makers, to engage with museums in ways that promote learning and also nourish their own work. Finally, to anyone interested in museums as such, or even those not that interested yet, but who hope to become more keenly uh, attuned to what they can offer, this course provides some frameworks for creating worthy, impactful educational experiences. A way to experience the museum, in other words, is what the course is all about. And it allows visitors to engage perhaps more deeply with individual works, with an entire collection, or the museum as a whole. First, let's think about the title of the course. Many of you may or may not really have heard about museum education. As for my own experience, it does not seem to be a field many are familiar with. In terms of professions, it's also not a field that is talked about and explored early in the life of young adults thinking about possible careers. In fact, some of the students that took my own classes at Pratt and went on to land solid internships and jobs in some museums here in NYC, um, a lot of them weren't really aware of this field, even though they were interested in the more generic museum studies realm. So to put it succinctly, in museum education, we will learn about the skills, approaches, competencies related to creating experiences for learning in museums. And we will learn about the different types of programs teaching strategies, materials, spaces, and other assortments of possibilities that are created within museums to facilitate and encourage and expand upon learning. We will discuss and delve into what I and um, others in our field um, like to call gallery learning experiences. We will touch on program creation and the design of educational experiences in galleries. We'll think about educational spaces and environments, as well as the museum's overall engagement with education across the board. And again, we'll do this in such a way that our exploration can be of benefit to both those who want to later dive deeper into the field and those who want to engage with museums in more probing and educational ways, whether they are visiting alone, with family, friends, colleagues, and others. So very simply, the term points directly to how education, how learning, happens and could happen in museums. We will delve into this more deeply later, but think about this. Any label that you read in a museum is meant to be educational. The audio tours that many people use, those are meant to be educational. Well, along with these basic tools that provide information, a lot more goes on, and that's in large part due to A, an intentional attempt to make museums bring about more offerings related to their core mission, which is indeed educational, and B, the desire to explore the many possibilities dormant or even present, but perhaps not as extensively developed within education departments. Now, most classes um, you will encounter will have just that, museum education, as it's called. But I've very purposely added the term contemporary in front. I don't mean by the addition of the term that we'll be doing museum ed only with contemporary art, not at all. I'm referring to contemporary museum education as a contemporary endeavor that is a creative critical practice. So I use the term in order to relate that practice, museum education, to a realm where contemporary is used a lot more. So admittedly, to bring a certain hipness to it and make a larger segment aware of its relevance but also in order to point to the exciting paths that are currently taken, the innovations that are en route, the adventurous proposals that are now taking shape. I also want to point out the array of disciplines that intersect within the field and that make it exciting and a universe for creatives who delve into and how it's enriched by the contributions of scholars, artists, thinkers, and doers of various stripes. And finally, to touch on how that will in turn contribute to other fields through its discovery of methods and approaches, one where the insights gained from the practice and the research can potentially be adapted not only to other educational realms, 
but also to other fields of practice, including art and design itself. So that's how we situate this realm of thinking and doing this universe of practice and theoretical investigations. This field where we are engaged in exploring the ways learning can happen in museums and expand it beyond its walls. Contemporary museum education and the art museum can be aligned with the close looking and analysis of artworks and the overall museum educational programming that is currently practiced in a lot of museums. It can also explore particular intellectual or artistic issues and queries of thinkers and makers through the works and the exploration of the museum. It can also engage with the variety of museum practices, like curatorial practice, exhibition design, that are at play in any museum environment. And also, it can provide the conditions for the analysis of what I like to call critical problematics. Say, for example, canon formation or hermeneutics, theories of interpretation that are actually at play in museums. It can thus truly be thought of as a critical and social intervention, a social design initiative, even a political engagement, as well as a creative practice. That said, we will mostly reside in the exploration of the first realm that I was talking about, mainly looking and analyzing artworks, with frequent enough forays into the other areas. Let's be mindful that this is an introductory course. And so we will not have time to dive deeply into the history and the theories of learning and explore all the options in depth, or even devote time to debating the many learning theories, critical theory, museum philosophies, and research related to an amalgam of fields that affect this practice. We also won't have the space and time to devote to all the strands of museum education. I have provided a bibliography that will be useful for those of you who'd like to do more independent reading and more in-depth exploration. Uh, the names of researchers such as Falk and Deerking and Hausman and uh, Yenowin, um, Burnham and Kai Ki, along with my own colleagues at MoMA and many of the people that I've worked with and others who are listed in the bibliography. For us, we'll have to prioritize and we will have to go straight to the gallery learning experiences. And although we will touch on some history and some other strands, we will mostly intertwine those explorations and zoom in on very relevant strands that in turn allow deeper exploration of various issues related to museum education. The main strand is the creation of what is a staple in museum education, and that is the one to two hour gallery learning experiences. Notice I did not say tour. The gallery learning experience by definition could be expanded into more elaborate programs. Again, this will be useful not only to anyone who, with possible interest in pursuing this as a potential field of study and work, but anyone who goes into the museum. In effect, the GLEX, for short, is at the heart of learning in museums and the approaches, methods, and techniques associated with designing a gallery learning experience for others can be applied to one's own museum experience, whereby the visitor's experience in the museum is challenged in particular ways as to heighten learning possibilities, without, I must add, taking away from the other reasons one visits a museum, like socialization, a bit of entertainment, informal navigation, all of that is absolutely valid. One note before we move on. When I was teaching at the Museum of Modern Art and the Met and at Queen's Museum, we often wondered how we should refer to these one to two hour sessions in the galleries. Sometimes they're called talks, gallery talks. Sometimes people call them tours very often. We even thought about maybe gathering or session well, nothing stuck, and through the classes I taught at Pratt and the programs that I did, um, I came up with and we shared uh, the GLEX, the gallery learning experience. Just a heads up though, folks in the outside world may not know what a GLEX refers to, but we all will, and hopefully everyone will refer to this as a GLEX going forward. So what I like to call the GLEX, and what is referred to in different museums with different names, is going to be the central node of our exploration. And I can promise that through this node, we will be able to delve in more or less immersive ways into many other strands of museum education. Mm -hmm.